Alright, so over the past several months, as many of you might know that have been watching this channel, I've been working on a SaaS product called Web Dev Daily. It's a platform that offers you daily design to code front end challenges to complete inside of an integrated browser IDE. We also just released some new features, which were the 100 days of coding challenge as well as leaderboards. So if you're interested in improving your front end skills, be sure to check that out. Now for Web Dev Daily, I used a platform called Subabase for my back end. And for those unaware of what Subabase is, it's a really awesome open source alternative to Firebase that has a handful of great services such as authentication, a Postgres database, and even storage. Now, what's really cool about Subabase is that it has a built-in auth system that allows you to send out emails to your users for things like signups and even password resets. And if you do want to learn more about authentication with Subabase, I do have a video where I walk you through how to set that up inside of an application, and you can find that link down below in the description. So what I want to show you in this video is how and why you want to configure your own domain to send emails from all using Subabase. Now by default, all Subabase authentication emails get sent from noreply at mail.app.subabase.io. And although this is good enough to get your application started, you're going to want to update this before you push your application to production for a number of reasons. First is that with the built-in auth system from Subabase, you're actually only able to send up to four emails per hour, which could cause issues with your user experience if you do receive an influx of signups or authentication requests. And beyond rate limiting, this is also going to help with a numerous amount of other things such as brand recognition so instead of authentication emails coming from a superbase email it'll now come from your domain it'll improve deliverability and also make scaling much easier and it's also going to give you insights into analytics and also the ability to tap into webhooks now there's a few different platforms that you can use to configure a custom SMTP server, however in this video we're going to be using Resend. Now Resend is a really great service that provides you with a good amount of features that simplifies the process of sending emails. And they also provide a super easy way to integrate your Superbase account to send emails on behalf of Superbase authentication. Now the first thing you'll want to do is go over to Resend and create your free account. Now once you have that created, you're going to want to first off add your domain. Once you have that added, you're going to want to go over to whichever service that you purchased the domain from, and you're going to want to add the following DNS records. Then after you have those added, you're going to want to select on verify, and this can take anywhere from a few minutes to an hour. After you have those records verified, the next step is to integrate your Subabase account. To do this, you're going to want to select on settings and then on the integrations tab. Here you're going to see the option to connect to Subabase. Once you select this, it'll redirect you over to Subabase to allow Resend access to your organization. Once you have that authorized, it'll redirect you back to Resend where we can now start to set up the integration. First, you're going to want to select your project, which in my case will be Web Dev Daily. Next, you're going to select on the domain that we added earlier. And lastly, you just want to set up the sender name and the sender email that the authentication emails will be coming from. And you don't need to worry about the remaining four fields as they're already pre-configured for us. Once you have all these steps completed, you're going to want to click on the Configure SMTP Integration button. And once that's finished, we can then head over to Superbase. And here you're going to be able to see now that it's configured for our custom SMTP. And it's simple as that. We'll now have our Superbase authentication emails coming from our custom domain. So now if we head over to Web Dev Daily and sign up for a new account, and then we go check out the confirmation email that we get, you're going to be able to see that the sender address is now coming from Web Dev Daily, and it's coming from the email of info at webdevdaily.io. So what's also really nice about having this set up with Resend is that we can now see here inside of the emails tab all the emails that are being sent out. And this is just going to give you confirmation that the emails are actually being sent and delivered. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and you were able to learn something new. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it down below and subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.